This is the Crow Pi Lite. It turns your Raspberry Pi 4 into a laptop. They sent me one. And while it's for tinkering and all sorts of things, actually, let's go ahead and unbox it. They also sent me a sensor set. So this is a DIY for the whole family. This thing could do a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and unbox it, check out the sensors, the packaging, and what all you could do with it, including dual booting it with retro games and a desktop. Hey, so today we're doing the Crow Pi. It comes with a mouse. You do need to supply your own Raspberry Pi. You got the 22 mat module starter kit. Inside here are things you need to mount the Pi. Inside here is part of the auxiliary GPIO setup. Um, I think this is also a GPIO like connector. Inside the unit, you have a webcam. You've got the screen. It looks like you got a touchpad here. You got GPIO indicators. That's pretty cool to see what's on, what's off, things like that. And you have a uh, keyboard without a numpad and then power. Uh, outputs the IO. You literally got whatever's in the pie on the side there. And then, oh, cool. Yeah, so it gives you a full size HDMI, uh, USB Type C, headphone jack, and then the GPIOs there. That's cool. So let's um, put together the GPIO thing. Seems pretty easy to do. So the GPIO connector is really easy. It's just some clear acrylic and some screws you put together. It has this little case that you get. Um, by the way, this is the advanced kit. If you go to the website there on the Crow Pi, this one comes with the sensor kit as well. That's the what I'm unboxing here is what you would buy if you bought the advanced kit. You can absolutely skip the advanced kit. Um, you can go with the regular kit as well. And there are, it looks like they are selling it. If you need a Raspberry Pi, they have those for sale as well, although they are expensive. Uh, what I'm doing here is you just put, you know, that's that easy. That's how easy it was to put this thing together. I know it was sped up, but you just put the Pi in, connect GPIOs, and you're good to go. Some classic Mr. Bean. So here I am testing the uh, YouTube uh, performance. And uh, let's check out the speakers on this. Thing. 720p is going to be your, your most you could do on this thing lag free. But hey, that's not bad. Ale starter kit for Raspberry Pi, 22 modules, 20 lessons, and um, you know, that's pretty much all they got going on when you open it up it's really cool you get you know it's like opening a box of chocolates you have all your different things here you have a little guide up at the top so you can see we got two leds an ir reflector sensor reflector sensor touch sensor temperature humidity sensor hall center light sensor ir receiver for remotes and things a couple buttons is that all this is a button <laughs> a rotary angle sensor collision sensor battery case RGB LED moisture sensor, base shield for a Raspberry Pi. So I don't think I would need this if I already have, yeah, I don't think you need, I think this is like an extra because you, um, we're already running this auxiliary GPIO. So I don't think we're gonna need that at all. But anyways, we also have the I2C LCD infrared remote, micro speed motor, that could be cool. And then they're saying there's a user guide underneath. That's good that they explain that so that I open this up and get my user guide out of the bottom. Boom. All right, so you do have to download the example files. Uh, it's in the instruction manual here, but you're basically gonna just go open your terminal and you're gonna go to get a git uh, and you're gonna get this folder and you'll see it show up on my desktop here. If you look at the, there it is. Now I have these example files <clears throat> now. What I'm doing now is I'm just going through this little, uh, the, the advanced kit has a little instruction manual. There's like 12 or 13 activities on there. And so here's the first one to get the LED or the second one to get the LED light to work. The first one was actually to say hello world within terminal. Next, I'm gonna be doing the buzzer. There's a weather station. There's so many other things uh, on here. And this is just with the basic kit here. Hey, it's working. There we go, baby. Yeah, you'd never think you'd see somebody right, so excited to uh, to get basic functionality working. Pretty cool. Press the button and it makes a noise. 
All right, so with it's cool that it does come with a, uh, I think it's like a 32 gigabyte SD card. It already has the operating system on it for you. I'm going to show you du dual booting in a second. You can have up to two images, two micro SD cards in this thing, and you can switch between them really easily. On the back of the unit here, it's a magnetic top, so you don't even need a screwdriver. It's pretty cool. But what I'm showing you right now on the computer is... Um, uh, that it comes preloaded with a learn how to code software and something like 96 different modules from everything from learning Python to game design to all kinds of things, way more advanced learning. So I thought this was great for both adults and kids. Um, it, it's just a really great learning tool. Uh, I, I was very impressed with all that. <clears throat> now I did find some inconsistencies because you know I believe this is a Chinese company. So there were some translation things. Um, some like I found one file that just wasn't spelled correctly. Like just little things, but just know you know uh, you might find some like that. But 99% it's it's ready to go. It's really cool. It's it's amazing. It's a really cool tool for for people. And uh, I love the screen. The screen is beautiful. So here's one of those programs. Um, I just hit start and it's using the GPIO. I don't know if you can see that, but it's lighting up. Hey. Okay. That was an easy project. And there's the thing for a while. You can do everything from a a door remote control door using a servo motor this is pretty cool that this right here is a moisture sensor so you can actually put this into a plant and then it'll indicate their moisture levels and or make it a, a buzzing noise if it gets a certain moisture so you can know when to water your plants that's pretty cool i've seen other uh, people do that you can turn it into a weather station using the weather little temperature gauge over here uh, there's remote, there's servo motors to do all kinds of like uh, cars, tra car tracking. There's a, um, a light sensor here to, to, you know, turn on and off depending on if there's light. There's a dimmer switch. It goes on and on and on and on. So I've already spent hours <laughs> fiddling with this. I have to say I learned a lot. And there it is. Hello. The webcam works. So there you go. Let's take a photo. Hello. All right, put a kind of foot, and then there you go. Download it. We got our first JPEG. Hey, there you go. Not bad. 640 by 480. Very small photo. So you can put up to two micro SD cards in this thing, and there's a little switch right there. All I did was hit the switch and put the magnetic top back on. All right, and here you have an image that I've reviewed in the past, and I think this Darge Zones image, uh, and it works great. It booted right up. You don't do anything with your display settings. The controller plugged right into the side. It was plug and play, which is awesome. Let's play some games. All right, final thoughts while we play some more games. Um, the speaker's okay. It's not great. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. Um, screen, I'd give like a 9 out of 10, you know, especially for the price point. Something I didn't show in the video was that you can, uh, there's a full-size HDMI port on here. A lot of people like that. Like, that's like a good $10, $20 upgrade for a lot of people coming from the Raspberry Pi 4. Do note that this only does work for the Raspberry Pi 4, not the Raspberry Pi 3. Um, and right now, it is really hard to get Raspberry Pi 4s, and uh, some of them are selling for over $100, when it should be a $35 board. Uh, that being said, they are selling this kit. Um, you can get just the, the Crow Pi L. L is short for light. Uh, or you can get the advanced kit with the sensors I have here. And um, But when the Raspberry Pi does go back down to $35, I mean, this is really impressive. I mean, you basically have a full-fledged laptop running Linux, Python with the GPIO out. Uh, solid screen, you know, it's, you know, depending on how many gigabytes of the Pi you have, you know, you can do a lot with that. It's just overall really cool. I, I'm really impressed by this thing, so thumbs up all around from me. This, and once we know it's off, 
we can go ahead and flick this switch right here back to image A, and then put this back on, and then let's go ahead and turn it back on here. Turn it back on, and now instead of retro gaming, we are back on the L Crow operating system. <laughs> I know, isn't that cool?